Hey, welcome back to Virtual Vikings Game Plan. It's Paul Allen. Top of the stretch for the 2020 National Football League season. Vikings just beat Teddy and Carolina, and now they get a one-win Jacksonville team. Let's see what it looks like on film with the analyst Pete Bursich. When looking at the Jacksonville Jaguars, I think of an old adage that goes something like this. In life, nothing's as good as it seems, nothing is as bad as it seems, and somewhere in between reality lies. The Jacksonville's losers of 10 games in a row just got their GM fired. That's the bad. The good, however, they've got a couple rookie offensive weapons that this Minnesota Viking defense is gonna have to deal with. Let's take a look at the film. James Robinson is the rookie running back sensation from Illinois State, who has really put this Jacksonville offense a bit on the map. 128 yards, 159 combined yards against the Cleveland Browns. We'll take a look at what he does so well, and he's a single set kind of a guy. He likes to run by himself, not necessarily have a fullback. This first play, you get a nice counter on the strong side, and you can see right when those blocks are made, you're getting a crease, you're getting a crease. And if that tight end could only seal in the linebacker for a second longer, he's gonna get himself well into the second level. And on every single one of these plays, you're gonna see this kid running after contact. He fights to get those added three or four yards. Again, Robinson in the backfield and in, in the dot, straight downhill run. As he gets to the mesh point, he sees that little gap in between the, uh, between the tackle and the tight end able to get through that and then again fall forward so as the linebackers are trying to get across and get to him they're having a hard time keeping their balance enough to knock him down or to slow him down so glennon out of the shotgun this is a couple of back-to-back -back plays here he takes the zone meshes himself back up you see the guard turning the kick out the tackles all the way down he sees that gap gets through it oh and he makes that db miss a little bitty jump to add another seven or eight yards. So he's very shifty, keeps his shoulders square, and he has really, really good vision. The next play, on the handoff, he takes it strong. He sees the opening to the right. He sets up that block by the guard beautifully, going wide and then cutting it back, allows the guard just to run his defender right out, and he's one-on-one -on -one with the safety, always bouncing off the first guy. Two or three Cleveland Browns are there almost every play to have to tackle him. They rarely bring him down one-on-one. -on -one. This is another great one, a draw play. He sets up at the mesh point. You see that the, the gap that's, in, that's available there in the A-gap, but he still has the vision to bounce this thing outside. And that's one thing that you can't teach. He's able to set up, he sees some green, but he feels that opening on the, he feels that brightness on the outside and then takes that. Same exact play, he's at tailback, sets up, comes inside, and he just takes that little stutter step to see what's gonna open up in front of him. His offensive linemen are really just taking these defenders whichever way they wanna go, the path of least resistance. And he's able to bust that thing through, shakes another tackle on the safety, rips it up the sideline, the corner is able to take him out of bounds. That's the longest run of his of the day. The other rookie weapon is Colin Johnson out of Texas. He kinda, of, with Mike Glennon being the quarterback, he emerged as the other weapon. He had four receptions, 96 yards, and a touchdown. So you'll see him on the top of the screen right here. It's a play fake. They've got plenty of guys in the block. And all Johnson's doing is seeing this opening across on about the 35 yard line. He sees the corner dropping off and he sees the safety that he has to get underneath. Glennon throws a nice ball, hits him in stride. He's able to turn this thing up and fight and dive. <laughs> Gets in the end zone for a touchdown. So. A nice job by this rookie wide receiver that Cleveland, I don't think, paid enough respect to, and he made him pay on, on, a, number of, on a number of occasions. Again, two backs in the backfield, play action. We know all about this. You get one-on-ones down the field. Get the crossing route, ball's thrown a little bit behind him. Doesn't catch it with his hands, catches it in his chest, but still a good feeling for getting across, getting underneath those coverages and finding those open spots. And finally, drop back passing situation. Cleveland Browns are, are playing some kind of a man-to-man -man type thing. He's able to break that thing in and keep his body in between himself and the defender. Goes up, grabs the football, uses his hands this time, and brings it down. 